Ho, ho, ho! Merry Shipmas! Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day. Aussie Sim 2 here. And holy moly! I cannot believe it is one more sleep to Christmas. Are you freaking kidding me? Where is this year gone? It is just evaporated. Poof. And before we get into the video, we do want to wish everyone a very safe and merry, merry Christmas. Appreciate all the support throughout the year, guys. It has really mean a lot, and sometimes it's been really overwhelming. Cannot thank you guys enough. So hope everyone has a very safe and merry Christmas, and you eat lots of Christmas ham, and you open up lots of cool presents. So yeah, I've got my sand hat on today. Getting festive. I do look like a level 3 noob in RuneScape though but hey we're rolling with it now I know we are getting all festive and everything but I have to be the Grinch today I have to be dropping some bad news and I've been wanting to do this video for a while and kind of like talk about it because it's really interesting and kind of a uh, kind of a hot topic and that is that there is a lot of cheaters in Warzone and in Modern Warfare already and there's quite a big community of them and I think it's just really funny that Activision rants and raves about their anti-cheats uh, system, yet it clearly doesn't work and there is a reason for that that I did learn. I kind of want to drop that information for you guys because it's pretty, pretty interesting information. So I have been working on leveling up more of my weapons. I'm so close. All I have to do is finish off this sniper, do the pistols, and then the SMGs as well as the riot shield and the knife. I've kind of been working on that on and off. I uh, mainly just have to do the knife. And yeah, I can finally go back and then do all the camos, get gold, get platinum, and then do all the poly challenges. And then finally, finally, we will have Orion. I want I want to see how close I can get. I want to see if I can get it before maybe New Year's. So we are just jumping straight back in the shipment. I, I'm, I'm actually loving this shipment so much. I know I've said that many times before, but this shipment is a lot of fun. So the main oppressing mana, and I, I've been putting this video for a little while because I had been too busy and I didn't have time to collect enough data and information about it, all this kind of stuff. But, so yes, there are cheaters inside of Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone as well, and you're probably asking, oh, how, how do you know this? How, how what, what, ain't, what sources do you have to back this up, sir? Well, the fact that they're posting a lot of stuff over on TikTok. Yeah, there's a lot of people that live stream and just post videos and clips of themselves just blatantly cheating in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone as well. Honestly, think it's really, really funny because they've obviously been doing it for a very long time and they just haven't been banned at all. It just shows how much of a joke Activision's anti-cheat system is. I will show some of those clips now. I'm, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging, hanging dry there and not having any contact of what I'm talking about. Maybe you guys have probably seen it on TikTok yourself. I am definitely not someone that lives on TikTok nor even uses it for that matter. I feel like it just promotes brain rot. Uh, no offense to anybody. But I have to give a massive shout out to my friend, my good friend Chris. He actually, he, he goes on TikTok a lot more than I do and he was the one that like brought this to my attention a while ago. And I've just kind of been putting it off. I wanted to kind of look into it myself. I just haven't had enough time. But now I am on holidays, yay for the holidays. So it is kind of nuts that these people are actually just making clips of them blatantly cheating. I don't know if there's any ramifications for that. Like, the evidence is literally right there with their name written all over it. So does anything get done about that? Do Does Activision care about that? And I just don't think they really care because I think the, the, the main thing that they care about is, hey, look, they're posting clips of Modern Warfare 2 and that's good for free advertisement of the game, good marketing and all that kind of stuff. That's all really us YouTubers and stuff are for games. Free marketing, free advertising. Like game developers love it. As long as you're not trashing too hard on the game all the time. But yeah, it, like YouTubers and uh, game developers like co coincide. And it's really funny that they rant and rave about like, oh look we've got this new r r ricochet anti-cheat system. It's gonna take down all the cheaters. Arr. And like, it, it's done nothing. It has absolutely done nothing. And there is a reason for that and we will get into it. It is just funny that these people are just able to post videos and you know, like Activision does nothing. Absolutely nothing. It, it, it's not good for the integrity of the game. But I don't think most people are caring about the integrity of the game right now. Now, there's a few things I actually did learn, like kind of going into like the websites and stuff that they do have listed, uh, where they do like sell cheats and everything. So yeah, these people that post the videos, they do have ties into people selling cheats or they're selling cheats themselves. And it's all right there. It's literally right there on display. Like you, anyone with two eyeballs could tell. There's some interesting cheats out there that you wouldn't even be able to tell 
that the person was cheating. And there's one where you can get like an extra FOV slider. Um, and I'll show a clip of this here because you can kind of see it a little bit here. And you got to remember, this is a short clip. So this image has been cropped down, yet he can see just as much as what you do if you were playing regular 100 FOV on a full screen. So like this guy's FOV is like 200 plus, 300 plus. So there's like FOV AI like cheats out there that you can make your FOV humongous. It honestly looks disgusting, but you could probably see the whole map in your one field of view. And you wouldn't be able to tell if someone was cheating because you'd probably put it down to, ah, oh, they have a UAV up, he probably saw me down on the map and jumped around and shot me around the corner. No, he probably could literally see you standing there behind the corner because of how much the FOV has been zoomed out. And there's some other interesting ones there as well. Like apparently there's like faster heartbeat sensors. I don't know, exactly know what that means. But the heartbeat sensor beats pretty slow. I'm assuming that it would beat really, like, beat really quick. And you could just see the enemy on your heartbeat sensor, like, nearly all the time. There's ones where you can, like, unlock all camos. Uh, different, like, UI stuff that, like, completely changes the game and just makes it easier for you. I don't know what that means. It's very brief with the wording of it. Like, there's cheaters in every other game. Like, there's still cheaters in Fortnite. There's still che cheaters in CSGO. There's still cheaters in Valorant and all those kind of, like, PvP FPS kind of games. It's just a breeding ground for it. No matter what kind of competitive, no matter what kind of online FPS game you have, you're going to have, if you do not, like, tighten your screws quick, you will have cheaters. You will, you will just be plagued by cheaters. But the difference is Fortnite, Valorant, even CSGO, they've had their issues, but I'll even put CSGO up there. They have better anti-cheat services. They just they just do. They just have really good anti-cheat services that you are not going to be able to cheat for too long before you get detected. And CSGO has a really, really cool system, or I'm not sure even if they still have it. They used to have it. Um, where you could actually view a VOD, you had to have played the game for a certain amount of hours and have a certain rank and all the kind of stuff to be um, enlisted into like this kind of community thing. You'd watch people's VODs that had been reported and you would basically be a little detective. You put your little detective hat on and you would have to decide if this person is cheating or not. You'd get like a little 10 minute clip, a couple of rounds of them uh, just either popping off or doing nothing sometimes. Sometimes people get like, you know, falsely reported because they were just getting shat on and this guy's just had like, he's just a good player and nothing fishy going on. But I, I did like that system. You put it down to the community to watch other people's VODs and decide if they are cheating. All these like first person and other third person shooter games, they do have good anti-cheat services. Apparently, uh, I don't know where Activision lost the mark with their ricochet, but there's a reason why Ricochet might not be working and why a lot of cheaters still get through the system and don't get banned. And the reason is, is because there's something called spoofing. Now what spoofing is, is I, it's a lot tech, it's a lot more technical than I can even, my little reptilian brain can even handle, but it basically replaces your hardware ID, uh, like constantly, or it just replaces your hardware ID all the time, or over intervals or something but I'm assuming when you get reported it, it it picks up on that and it gives that report false information I think I don't know I could be interpreting interpreting this for uh, like wrongly but I think like when you go to when like a prompt happens that activates the spoof it will send it false information because there's plenty of times where people will get falsely banned and it's probably because of the spoof wow that was a collateral that was huge it's probably because of the, the spoofer that people use. This was really interesting to me because this is how people go undetected. This is how people will never get banned essentially and the reason why a lot of these these clips that I, or these videos that I see on TikTok, they're like, you know, day, day 50 without getting banned, all this kind of stuff is probably because they're using the spoofer. So I think it's crazy, like on top of like people having aim hacks, wall hacks, insane zoomed out FODVs. You can get modded blueprints. I'm not sure if that's like some kind of Cronus. If you guys don't know what Cronus is, it's where, you, it's where you like, you can negate like recoil on like AKs and stuff like that. So they literally shoot like a laser beam and you got like the, one of the strongest hitting guns that has no recoil now. I'm not sure if that's exactly what modded blueprints actually mean, but it, it, it's all crazy. And if that's not enough, the people can also use a spoofer, which will then stop them from getting banned or will hide their hardware IDs so they don't get banned or they can bypass 
the restrictions and stuff like that. I thought this was just crazy information that I thought I would share with you guys. It is it is kind of not. I don't think cheaters are definitely going anywhere. I think we're just going to have to coexist with them in Modern Warfare now and in Warzone 2. I, I don't play Warzone 2 a lot, so I don't know how bad it is over there if you guys have experienced uh, any cheaters. But so yeah, what do you guys think? Do you, do you guys think it's okay for people to be on TikTok making videos of them blatantly cheating and obviously trying to market themselves selling cheats? I mean, TikTok's a good place to do it, not gonna lie. I honestly think it does destroy the integrity of the game because like all it takes is for some, like someone to have like a bad day and then come up against like just lobby after lobby after lobby of cheaters, whether it's Warzone or multiplayer, and that might put the person off from playing the game altogether. Oh my god, what is that? I deserve to die. Oh. oh my god. This is honestly the best place to try and get sniper kills on shipment. Oh, I missed that. I personally think that anyone cheats in a game is kind of like a, a scumbag anyway. It kind of ruins the experience for everybody else. But also, the I also do not care that much for Activision at all. I mean, why would you even cheat in a Call of Duty game anyway? Like, it's not that hard to even do slightly good in Call of Duty. Like, they cater for the casuals. You, If you're poop, if you're shit at the game, you literally get shit lobbies. It's that simple. Like, I don't know, maybe these people do cheat in other games. CSGO, Valorant, who knows? Like, once a cheater, always a cheater, is what they say. All right, now that that's over and done with, my my rant there, and hopefully drop some, a bit of, bit of knowledge to people that maybe don't know anything about cheats or how they work. I personally actually learned a lot going on this endeavor. I think I've said it like a million times, but I am having so much fun with this shipment map. I, I honestly don't know if I can go back to other maps. I mean, shoot, shoot house is good. If we can get shoot the ship, I will be happy. Oh my God, now I'm sucking. If I could get, uh, if we could get shoot the ship, that would be really cool. So then we can actually do long shot on shoot house. Cause I'm not sure if you can even do long shot on shipment. Maybe someone knows a real sneaky spot, like up against, like your back up against this wall, like aiming right there or something. I don't know, it might be a long shot, but I don't, I'm going to go with, I don't think you can with like your ARs. Maybe shotguns and SMGs you might be able to, but I feel like ARs and LMGs and stuff, you're going to need like shoot house or just go back and play the other 6v6 maps. Like I hope everyone gets some like really, really cool presents, man, because I'm like, Super excited for this Christmas because I'm really excited for uh, my partner Amy to open up her present. I think I went all out this year. I think I went all out. And the one reason I do want to get all my we weapons leveled up as fast as I can because we don't know how long this shipment's going to be hanging around for. It could it could literally be like after the Christmas shipment is done, I think it leaves the 4th of January. That could be it. I'm, I'm assuming they will probably bring shoot the ship or maybe like shoot the farm or something might also be so fast. If we don't have shipment, I feel like maybe shoot the farm would also be a nice, a nice little mix up. But yeah, what are we, what, what are we gonna do once shipment's gone? Like, I still would like to get all the thousand kills and all the mastery charms done, so there will still be, still will be more Modern Warfare 2 content. Do not worry. So even when I finish the camera grind, I'll probably still do the mastery grind, still post videos on me actually doing the master grind and just talking about like anything that's happening inside Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty, or just like the gaming world itself. What? I got a jump collateral? Holy moly. That's new. That is basically for me guys. And again, both me and Amy wish each and every single one of you guys a very, very Merry Christmas. Hope everyone stay safe, puts themselves into a food coma and gets lots of awesome presents. Till next time guys, stay safe. Peace out.